everyone and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be another grocery haul and meal plan. So if you want to see what we bought and our list of meals for the week, then keep watching. So hey everyone, I hope you're doing okay. I am so happy to be here today. So happy to be back and on track after um, a pretty tricky <laughs> past week uh, with my Instagram account. So this, I'm going to try and catch up because I lost a lot of time trying to manage that whole situation. But today is the 12th of May and um, I feel like I'm just sort of getting my head into place again after it because... I wasted a lot of time, <laughs> but I'm back. I'm so happy to be here. I'm so happy that Instagram is back up and running. And I'm just so grateful for your love and support because it really meant a lot to me. I was very stressed and worried and um, you were brilliant. So thank you for that because you didn't have to be so kind, but you were and um, it hasn't gone unnoticed. But as per the CMA guidelines, I'm required to tell you that I have worked with Tesco in the past. However, obviously this has all been bought with our own money. And um, yeah. Should we just get a crack in? I think we'll just get cracking. Right, Merlin's ready. I'm ready, so let's do this. Um, some of these items look like they might have been broken into and that's because they have been. Um, they came earlier uh, today, got an earlier slot, so Mark is breaking into the bananas and blueberries for his breakfast um, with some porridge and stuff. So <laughs> we have, um, obviously we had five bananas, now we have four. We have a very, scary looking pineapple i'm gonna prep this after i filmed but i don't know it kind of looks like yeah like what if there's bugs in it anyway anyway <laughs> we have blueberries as well we had a lot more than that but mark's eating these as well but strawberries these look lovely actually look at how nice they look and then we have raspberries as well more lemons i'm using lemons so much in like cooking and drinks and things like that at the moment like it's it's kind of reminiscent of summer isn't it like stick some lemons in it and then we also have some jazz apples I meant to order some satsumas as well but I didn't but I suppose they can always be picked up at some point we'll work through these for now and believe it or not these won't even last that long um right over here we have in this mystery bag um some baked potatoes nice big ones I always buy them loose now because the pack ones are literally half the size. I mean, look at the size of that. That's huge. That's really quite big. So I've got those. Mint. Um, as I've mentioned a few times now, I'm growing herbs. But when I need... This is the tricky part because they're not... They're only new. <laughs> but um, when I need, like, herbs for a big recipe, I'm still buying them now and again because I don't want to, like murder my plant off do you know what i mean um but we've been using like basil and like chives and stuff it's been very nice having them there. i'm really enjoying it um jersey royals i don't know if i said that two uh broccoli heads and then we have some peppers baby plum tomatoes the packaging's a bit bashed but they all look fine in there we've got some spring onions the usual baby cucumbers i believe these are actually persian cucumbers um well they're in spain but i think they're type of cucumbers Persian anyway and um, we have some red onions look at these tomatoes I love it when they have like tomatoes on special offer this is San Marzano tomatoes and they look amazing they're almost like pepper shaped and um, these asparagus look at how gorgeous they are I've got two bundles of them I love it when things come into season and they're just so much nice quality and then we've got big cucumber at the end so that is all the fruit and veg this week, um, for now anyway. And then this is all the store cupboardy bits plus some random pepperami so that shouldn't be there. So we'll move those for a second. Uh, two um, cartons of prosciutto, sesame oil, uh, tomato ketchup. I always get the reduced sugar and salt one. Um, we don't find it tastes too bad in all honesty. We've got some spam again. Long grain rice, because we've been eating a lot of rice and a lot of like Asian cuisine at the moment and I'm um, just really enjoying it. Got some prawn crackers as well and roasted peanuts. We got a hearty food garlic baguette, gnocchi, um, pepperoni slices, salami slices, lasagna sheets, salted butter for my little butter thing over there, which is empty. Um, soft cheese, dolce latte. Does anybody else who likes a blue cheese just buy it sometimes because they want it? Like, no reason. No recipe, no meal. Just 
because they really fancy some blue cheese because that's what's happened here. Um, I saw it and I just really wanted it. Um, Grana Padano cheese, some ham, mozzarella, and then also the mozzarella and cheese mix. I'm sure you probably can guess by now that we're making a lasagna uh, for one meal this week. And that is kind of what a lot of the extra cheeses are. But then I also want to make some like homemade mini pepperoni pizzas i'll probably use the pizza express um dough mix um because i really like that one uh, the recipe is on their website and um, so i've got these as well for that and then we've got some feta um mild cheddar slices these are kind of like for lunch boxes pork cocktail sausages for lunch boxes as well some baking because that was on offer and it's always nice to have bacon in for the weekend if someone fancies a bacon bussy these are a bone of contention all week all week it's been a scorcher of a weekend coming up we were so excited going to be really sunny lovely planned a barbecue for sunday when it was meant to be the hottest day and now the forecast changed this morning not last night i checked double checked everything before this shot was sent out now it's going to rain <laughs> so um i'm hoping it changes again but we got some salt and chili pork belly slices and chinese style chicken thighs um I thought we might have like a few left over, maybe we could freeze some or use them for packed lunches. We had those burgers in the freezer for last week. I was really like, yeah, I've got this all planned out. I've got burger buns in the freezer as well. It's going to be a good day. Um, I was going to make potato salad and now we're probably just going to do them in the oven unless the weather changes. But it's so frustrating, the British weather. Anyway, um, we've got some mince to make the lasagna with. Pita bread, this hummus is just a game changer. I love that you get a massive tub. It's really nice quality hummus and it's just like the right amount for us a week and we just really enjoy it. Mark is loving the smoked salmon, as you probably know by now, so I've got some more of that with the bagels and then we've got some brioche. Um, these are handy for snacks or sometimes for fruit and yogurt for breakfast. The kids enjoy them. Um, very continental breakfasty. White Toasty, Warburton's Crumpets, and obviously the bagels, I've already shown you them. Um, we didn't get loads this week, um, but we did get some prep croissants. We've not had these in ages. Couldn't decide whether or not to get the chocolate ones or the plain ones, because I prefer a plain croissant with jam, whereas my kids prefer these ones. Um, but we got them anyway, and I probably won't get a look in, to be honest, because I never do. Uh, ZZ are at um, Tesco now in the frozen section, and this is their garlic bread with cheese. And I just wanted to try it. It was a bit pricey, to be honest, at £2.50. But I just thought, you know what, let's give it a go and see if it's nice. We, we will see. We got that. And then I also, because I am having a love affair with truffle at the moment, pork and truffle gyoza. Um, these keep in the freezer and you can get them out when you need them. But they just sound incredible. And when Mark and I went out uh, the other week to Tattoo in Manchester, which is a bit like Asian fusion-y restaurant, um, they had some chicken and truffle shumai and they were amazing and I'm hoping that these are similar because they were just incredible. Um, I've got wheat crunchies for the kids this week. I did order another packet of crisps and I don't know if they were out of stock. They must have been. I'm sure they ordered another one. Maybe it was discos or something like that but they must have been out of stock. Um, never mind. Uh, I can always pick up some more when we run out of these. Um, I've got some party rings. They were on offer. Maryland cookies are on offer. These jammy dodges are new and they are blue berry. Um, I just thought the kids would find them fun, to be honest. Um, they were on like introductory offer as well for like under a pound. So um, I'm sure they will love them. And then we've got some raspberry peelers. Go, go squeezes. We're back on offer again. Could not resist. Get so excited about that. I love these, but like I just like to save my money when I can. And then I've got some more um, cheapy yogurts as well. So that is all of that. And then over here, just some random items really. Uh, kettle chip for catcher bites. Um, sea salt, rosemary and extra virgin olive oil. I just thought they sounded nice for the weekend. Marshmallows that we were going to toast on the barbecue. <laughs> sigh but they keep fine so that's all right orange lemon and pineapple because we've run out of like an orangey squash and we have like a um purple one in a uh black currenty one in already uh strawberry sensation apple juice and um, this is a smoothie and then this i was really excited about because um stacy solomon's range i shared this in like a favorites the airwick uh plugins i love them but 
I am really glad that she doesn't air freshening room spray now because when I do my big clean I can like spray everywhere and I just thought that was lovely and I was really excited to see it so I picked that up as well. I also have a big 24 pack of Coke which I haven't carried in from the hallway um, Diet Coke for me um, so that is everything. Okay, so on to the meal plan. So today is Thursday and um, normally on a Thursday I will just try and use up stuff now that I have left. Um, so sometimes I'll make a meal for it and then sometimes it will just be like what needs using. Um, so when I clear out the fridge and like clean it before I put everything in, I'll just go through and think right we need to use up those tomatoes we've got that random onion from last week that we need to use and this that and the other and that's kind of how it works out. However tonight um, we, I will normally um, take Daisy and her best friend to Rainbows anyway and then normally we will come back um, we have a very very short window of time and then I have to take Bill to his swim lessons but Bill's actually on a residential at the moment um, I really miss him obviously with co-parenting I'm used to him not being here um, you know like at the weekend it's normally every other weekend or a little bit like less than that um, but it's very, very rare that he's not here during the week, you know, like part of the routine, like I can't wait to see him. Um, so because we have that free time today, I was like, you know, let's just keep Daisy's best friend and she can come for tea and they can all have a play because we all get on really well. And it's just nice. It's nice to say yes to your kids, isn't it? Because they ask every week. Um, so I am going to do like pizzas and stuff for them and I might let them make some like ice cream sundaes or something like that afterwards because we've got like fruit and cookies and sprinkles and stuff so I think that's what I'm going to do for them and then for Mark and I we are just having leftover pasta kind of thing like pasta with stuff <laughs> stuff from the fridge like stuff in there whatever there is we'll just put it in some pasta that is generally what happens um so for friday which is obviously tomorrow um that's changing now as the kids are growing up and stuff so we have two clubs on a friday now uh, one for bill one for daisy and it makes just the evening incredibly difficult to be honest with you because you want to feed the kids before you go but mark haven't finished work yet so we can't eat as family and won't really have time to anyway because family meals always take so much longer because we're all gabbing away um so i'm gonna feed the kids sweet and sour chicken um with rice and prawn crackers because it's nice quick and easy i still have some of those tempura um chicken fillets from bird's eye in the freezer and then this time i'm just going to make my own um sweet and sour sauce which is normally like a mix of pineapple cheese ketchup i've got some fresh pineapple and um, that i've already prepped that pineapple by the way the one that looked dodgy before i prepped it since it's fine it had like a weird bit but i just cut that bit off so it's fine we've got the pineapple we've got onion we've got peppers um, and obviously we've got rice and stuff so i'm going to make that really like quick and easy after school they can eat that then i know they've had a good meal in them then we'll go off to the clubs and then depending on how we feel because sometimes we get back and i do the majority in the cooking of the cooking in this house because like i can cook sorry mark um and while i love it some days i just you know when you're like i just want a night off from it i can't be bothered um and I never know i never know what mood i'm going to be in so it might be that we pick something up on the way back like a takeaway or something like that or um we will have those kebabs that i got the week before at the freezer with just some salad and pita um which is less exciting than a takeaway in all honesty but i'll just see how it goes tomorrow because yeah i mean i'm only human um sunday no saturday i have to do a recipe for a brand um i love 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 jobs like this because food is a huge passion of mine as i'm sure you gathered that's why i'm a little bit like chubby um i love food i love cooking i love coming up with concepts and recipes and ideas for brands it's one of my favorite parts of my job um so there were a few things that i got with this grocery order that i've not shown because you have to sign like non-disclosure agreements and all of that until everything's approved so i'm doing a recipe for a brand which we are going to eat afterwards <laughs> because you know like i want to enjoy it and we put loads of effort into it so that's what's happening on saturday we're also seeing mark's mum because it's her birthday and um yeah it should be a nice day should be a nice day and then sunday 
as you've already heard, the weather has let us down. In fact, I'm going to check it again now because it has been changing so much. Everybody else is talking about heat waves and we're like 80% rain. And uh, yeah, I mean, we could switch the barbecue to Saturday because it's still sunny then. Um, however, the only issue is with barbecues, you've got to like, leave a bit of time to get them going, haven't you? And um, when we see Mark, Mum and Sister, that might not work anyway. So it, it depends what we're going to do. We'll probably just stick stuff in the oven, to be honest. Or maybe if they're listening, the weather gods will uh, throw us a bone and give us some sunshine too. Um, next up, we have Spam Kimchi Fried Rice with a fried egg. We had um, the Spam Fried Rice the other day. Everybody loved it. It's really, really good. Don't knock it until you tried it. Um, and we're going to have that again, basically. But I'm going to add some kimchi because I love kimchi. Um, cheese day, we have some gammon steaks that I picked up when they were discounted. So they're in the freezer. And we are going to have gammon, like sticky gammon. I'm going to do like a um, honey mustard glaze on it, I think. Something like that. Baked potato and salad. Wednesday, I'm going to do a lasagna with salad and garlic bread. Very, very, like, standard. Um, and then... On Thursday, we are going to have gnocchi with leftovers sauce. So I roast all the vegetables that we've got left, blend them up, make them into a pasta sauce. Everyone's eating vegetables, but they don't necessarily know it. My greatest joy in life is sneaking some mushrooms in there because kids hate them. But that is basically the meal plan for the week. So I hope that was useful. I hope you're having a lovely day, whatever you're up to. And I'll hopefully see you all very, very soon. Bye.